work in since the water was kind of coming up literally from the floor. So basically you go, you take what you can and run. So because of course your mind is clouded by panic, you probably forget a few important things. I for one forgot pants and my camera. I was more upset over my camera than the pants. What happened? To that? It was all like tear okay, apart. So people breaking into houses. Don't make me pick up tube of glass. It wasn't like nice. The first part is going to be kind of documenting your the life your life and the people around you and how that all relates to the hurricane, which is basically since you live here you've been affected and everything is connected. recreating the photograph and so at the end at our exhibit we're going to have the picture of what it was and then the picture with the painting on it of what it can be. I think it's a great opportunity for our students to be learning. Um, the MYU Art Therapy Program has had the privilege of partnering with the Children's Movement of Creative Education. Um, and it's been wonderful because being out in the community is where people need the most help. And so going where they are um, and providing services of support is really our goal. Oh, cool, you nailed it. You got it. Great. How do you feel about the program? It's fun. That you guys are able to come out to the community and just, you know, kind of give the kids a, a lovely fifth spirits in, in a time when, you know, things are just very unstable for them. So I appreciate you guys coming out and helping. How did you like the program? I thought it was interesting because it showed like how damaging the things would were, but also showed how you could repair it and how like it's kind of like a new opportunity because everything is going to look so nice once it's all over. This shows that even if the boardwalk is not there, it's not the end of the world of rock. Publication.